All right, here we go. Question number 18 from our 0314 homework number four in my lab math. We have a bit of a word problem. It says in triangle ABC, the measure of angle B is 70, 17 degrees more than three times the measure of angle A. The measure of angle C is 30, uh, 43 degrees more than the measure of angle A. Find the measure of each angle. That just sounds freaking confusing. So what I would highly recommend is that if you can draw a picture, go ahead and start with a picture. So I've, I've went ahead and I've drawn triangle ABC. It doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it has three sides. It also doesn't matter where you put the A, B, and C. It's completely irrelevant. But here's a triangle for reference. Now we're going to translate English to math, okay? So let's start with this part where it says the measure of angle B. So we're going to say B is. The word is in math means equals. And then it says 17 degrees more than. So let's stop right there. More than is plus. So it is 17 degrees more than which means we're going to add 17 degrees to something. What is it more than? 17 degrees more than three times angle A. Three times A. And so that translates English to math. Let's reread it and make sure that this looks the way it should, okay? B is, B equals, 17 degrees more than, 17 degrees more than, three times angle A, three times A. That's okay. I feel pretty good about that. Let's actually put that in the picture here. That's going to be 3A plus 17. That is angle B. All right, next. It says the measure of angle C is. So C is, remember, is is equals 43 degrees more than. What does more than mean? Add. It's going to be 43 degrees more than what? More than the measure of angle A. So the measure of angle C is 43 degrees more than A. And I feel good about that. Let's put that in the picture, okay? A plus 43. That's the measure of angle C. And so now you may be thinking, well, what is A? And the answer is, I have no idea, okay? A is, we're just going to say A is A. But now I want you to notice that I do have all three angles in terms of A. And if I only knew some fact about the measure of all three angles of a triangle, I could probably come up with an equation. Well, I just so happen to know a fact about the measures of the angles of a triangle. If you add all three angles together, it always adds up to 180. That is a fact you need to know. The measure of the angles of a triangle always add up to 180. And so now I can set up my equation, okay? So angle A, remember A was just A. B was 3A plus 17. And C was A plus 43. So I don't know if you understand what just happened there, but here's A, B, and C. Here's A, B, and C. Plugging in what we came up with up here into our equation. And so now if I combine like terms, I'm going to be able to solve for A. A plus 3A plus A, 3, 4, that's going to be 5A. And then I've got like terms here and here. 43 plus 17, what is that? I think that's going to be 60 equals 180. 60 wants to move over, makes minus 60. 80 minus 60 is 120. 
And then if I scroll up just a bit and divide both sides by 5, we're going to get the measure of angle A. I'm going to check that with the calculator. That is 24 degrees. So the measure of angle A is 24 degrees. And so if I come up here to my picture, I know that A is... 24 degrees okay so if I know angle A can I get angle B well I sure can it's 3 times A plus 17 so what is 3 times A A is 24 plus 17 that makes B 89 B is 89 a is 24, and look at C. C is A plus 43, okay? So A is 24 plus 43, 67. So that makes C 67 degrees. B is 89, A is 24. So I now have, through the power of algebra, I have found the measure of all three angles, okay? Let's check it out. A, measure of angle A is 24. Measure of angle B is 89. And the measure of angle C is 67. Bam. So I hope all of that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.